Thank you for buying a Trashbots kit. To help you better understand how to use your kit, we have prepared an easy tutorial. First things first, you'll need to know the physical features of the Trashbot. At the bottom of the Trashbot is the on and off switch, the charging port, and the speaker. At the front of the Trashbot, you will find the accelerometer, thermometer, and motion sensors. Use this port to make firmware updates to your Trashbot. Check our website for our latest release. There are also two buttons, A and B which can be used to perform commands, as well as 25 LEDs that display a variety of images. On the side there are two motors, left and right, as well as plates you can attach pucks and other items to. To manually access these motors, hold down the B button to enter motor mode. Once you see this screen, you will now be able to turn on and off the left and right motors independently with each the A and B button. Hold down the B button to turn off motor mode. At any time, you can reset your trash bot by holding the A button. To begin programming, go to trashbots.co and click here to use our block coding platform, T-Blocks. You can also download the T-Blocks application on your device. Once your trash bot is on, click the top right corner of your programming screen and then click search for robots. Locate your bot and click pair. If a C is displayed on the trash bot, you are connected and ready to go. To access our learning resources, visit trashbots.co slash portal. From there, you can choose from a variety of resources, ranging from lesson plans for teachers to activities for students. Now that you know how to properly manage a trash bot, you can program whatever you like. Download our coding guide for more information. Have fun and get creative.